see if they're gonna be nice to each other. Everybody, back away from the mayor. Welcome back to my channel. So we have a busy vlog, so I need to get right into it right away because we are tackling cleaning this barn. It's been a really long time because you guys know now that I've been pregnant for the last six months now. And it's been a lot hard for me to do things, so that's why I've had to honestly put it off. But today, we're finally getting it done. It's gonna be a lot of work. And we're doing something a little bit interesting right now because I wanna let all the horses out together and we haven't done that in a really long time. And you guys always ask me why our horses are never together. The real reason is because Trigger has to be stalled during the day. I keep seeing this question get asked, but so I should probably answer it, which a lot of you guys already know, but Trigger has to be stalled during the day per my vet because he has bad allergies and during the day is better for him to be in the stall. So he goes out at night and you can't really let like one horse out. It's not like the safest thing to do. Um, you can't really let one horse out on their own. So June, when she hurt her eye, became his buddy, but we don't typically let June and Cash out together because they don't typically get along. So we'll see how they do. We might need to change our plan here. Please be nice. Please be nice. Go, go, go. They're not understanding. They're like, we're not supposed to go out there yet. June's gonna be a fireball, I'm sure. There she goes already. Oh, and there's Cash, gonna go right after her. We'll see. Oh, trigger. Hopefully they're nice to each other. We'll see. If they start to get too mean, then we will have to switch things around. But it's just gonna be a lot easier if we can keep all the horses out of their stalls for now, because we're gonna be in and out of all of their stalls and it just would be better. So Louie wants no part of the madness of fighting. I'm sure they're probably gonna fight for a minute, but maybe she looks see. Let's see if they're gonna be nice to each other. Everybody, back away from the mayor. <laughs> She's bossy. And we can't, well, we could, if it comes to it, put them in. We need to leave the back pasture open because Mike's gonna be going back and forth back there. So we can't really put them in the back pasture right now. So it seems like they're being okay. Trigger doesn't care. Trigger's like, I'm just here to eat grass. Louie wants no issues. This is why Louie never has a single cot in him. It's basically these three doofuses that always cause problems with each other, but if they can just calm down for a second. June might be okay because she wants to graze, but these two are likely ready to come inside. So we'll see. They're <laughs> just sitting with each other. They're scared of her. <laughs> we will hide under the tree and no problems. If Cash just leaves her alone, We'll be fine, but we'll see. So very interesting is I'm actually trying to get Cash to come back in because she's being extremely mean to Cash. So Louie though is now protecting Cash from her. So I've never seen him do that. He's totally like on the low end of the totem pole, like doesn't want any problems, but he has gone into complete protector mode of Cash. And as you can see, Cash is like hiding behind him, but he is holding his ground against that mare for Cash. So. You'll see, she'll try to come get him to hurt him. And Louis is just like, nope, not happening. And he's like not mean about it. He just like stands his ground and must whisper something to her because he very much is not having the games today. He's like, this is my buddy. And look at Cash, he's like not leaving Louis's side. He's like, thank you for protecting me. Oh my gosh, look at him. Do you guys see that? He told her to buzz off. So I was gonna bring him in, but maybe it's a good moment for her to get knocked down a level here and let Louis protect him. So first thing of business is to get this cleaned up. So in the beginning here, we're gonna get this cleaned up and then Mike and I are gonna kind of conquer and divide. I'll work more on stalls. He'll work on this with the skid steer, but we just moved the chickens out. The duck's nest is over there. We're gonna have to kind of relocate that. Or we'll probably put it in that little like feed bin for now or whatever it is but it's time to get this out of here because it's a big mess. There's a ton of pallets underneath here. But yeah, you guys will see. So I'm gonna time-lapse a lot of this, get this cleaned up, and then I will start on the stalls. So 
So this is how we relocated the nest. She's not gonna be happy when she comes back in the barn and sees what we've done, but it needs to get done. We'll put it back <laughs> once we're done. But chickens are moved, chicks I should say. You know, it's time to get the machine in here and let Mike do his thing. So first things first is he's actually going to move the hay that we're currently using out of the way. And then he'll start to get all the messy hay from here. While Mike is working on the hay, I'm gonna work on the stalls. This is what our stalls look like. So how we prepared to put the hemp in there is I didn't want to waste any of the shavings. So every day we just kind of took out as like the manure and the urine kind of filled the shavings and we never really refilled because I wanted this to practically be pretty much cleared so I could just have hemp bedding in here. So that's why you can see <laughs> there's manure from last night and then some urine right here, which obviously not the best mechanism of cleaning the stalls, if that makes sense, or keeping them clean. But this is just what we had to do since there wasn't a lot of shavings and I didn't want to add more. So now I'm gonna basically gut them. So that's what that one looks like. Caches is the same way. We still clean them every night so they're not like destroyed, but obviously not having shavings doesn't make it the prettiest. So everything is cleaned out of this saw. I like how it looks. I'm happy with it. Already so sweaty because it rained all day today. Now it's super humid. So it's fun. Just did one stall. So yeah, we have four more to do. Mike is still very much working in the skids here. He's got all the pallets out. All of these were under that hay. So yeah, a lot of stuff was underneath there. But he's still in there. The bulk of the hay is kind of out. Mike just broomed everything over into here so that he could get his bucket and scoop it all up. Miss Butters is having a conniption with her kids because she's very confused what's going on. I've tried to show her the nest multiple times but she's not finding it. I put it over there where she was and now she's just having a conniption. Monsters observing everything. This area is finally clean. It's looking a bit dirty right now because Mike's tracks from the skid steer has made it Kind of muddy going back and forth through the pasture, but not a huge deal. This stuff I'm gonna get rid of, I think, today. We have all these mats still here. The hemp stuff still here because I haven't put that in the stalls yet, but that's gonna happen next pretty much. And then we'll clean the whole alleyway. And guys, I might be making a big decision to remove all of the center mats because it makes this barn always a lot dirtier because the hay and dirt gets stuck underneath them and they move around. So we're kind of trying to make a, executive decision here if we should stop with the mats use the mats somewhere else like in a wash rack out back or something like that but i do think that might be what we do petro's a little confused because she for some reason lives in the barn and she's like not sure what's going on louis stall is the only stall that i've technically done to full completion so far i didn't show you guys all the time lapse of all the stalls because it's kind of boring hi buddy you're so cute but his stall was already super clean and really easy so i Use the leaf blower, blew it all out, so it looks really good. Compared to Blaze's saw, which also looks really good, it's just more like on the dirty, dusty side because I haven't used the leaf blower yet. Then Cash's, Cash's was a little bit more of a mess than the other two, so they don't look as good, but still need to leaf blow it. Like I said, the only one I've leaf blowed is Louis, so they all don't look as good as Louis. Triggers, I just got done using the shovel. So I just refilled Louis' salt lick, and Mike is working on June's stall. And I'm gonna refill her salt lick too because she is completely out. Perfect. There we go. So he's scraping it for us. Like I said, I did the best I could on the others. I'll need to pressure wash these one day, but not today. But he's gonna try his best just to get off the main stuff and then it'll look at least a little bit better. 
time for the new bedding to see these are the hemp shavings that we got i talked th about them in another video there's a total of 400 pounds between these two bags 274 in this bag and i am so excited to see how this goes so i'm not sure the process that we're necessarily going to do probably just shovel it in there and start because we, we never ever buy shavings like bulk in this like this way we usually get them in bags and you know individual bags and put them in the stalls so this should be fun all right first scoop this is not gonna be the most fun process we've ever done but there we go so we did 10 scoops because we don't really know exactly how much it's gonna require we do know that it will require about 80 ish pounds but we're kind of going off of site right here. And I guess 80 pounds I'm getting at is I taking the 400 pounds that we ordered, which is more than what we technically do anyways. And I divided it by my five stalls, which would be 80 pounds. So we're kind of guesstimating, but we know that technically 10 scoops is less than 80 pounds. So we're gonna see what this looks like first. I still need to like broom it out the way that I normally do. I'm trying to just get a look and feel for, like I said, how I normally do it. But I also don't wanna like skimp out on it and we will probably have a lot left. So my doing 10 in every stall and then whatever we have left, we'll disperse basically all throughout the other stalls so that they are all equal. It took her long enough, but she finally found her eggs. She's scared because Mike's walking by, but she finally found her eggs. So she was just very happy for a second. So I went around and collected all the little trash that was sitting in the alleyway. So now I'm just gonna pick it up, put it in my trash bag, AKA my feed bag. All the stalls are done. He's bringing the skips here in now with a pallet because we are going to make the decision to move the mats, see how we like it. We can always put the mats back. But while he's doing that, really quickly, I'm going to pick up everything that's going to be in his way, like pitchforks and close all the doors. I just looked over because Mike put the hay back in the barn. And look who's already commandeered the space. He's like, mm, this is a nice hay couch. <laughs> has no cares what we're doing. It's probably hard to hear me, but his mat situation's working. He did not want to pick them up by hand because they're so heavy and I can't help him. So that's working good. Kind of scratching some of the concrete, but that's okay. Not a big deal. I removed everything that was out there. Kind of really loving how it looks right here. So kind of neat. It's kind of nice not having so much hay in here. I miss it always. But it's looking really good. We'll do one last final a blowout with the leaf blower when we're done with everything still need to clean the rest of the alleyway. I was just giving hay to Blaze and Cash. I still need to do Louie, but Trigger and June will eat hay outside. Now that all of the mats are out, he's gonna take the bucket and he's gonna try to just like scoop all this, well, push all this back basically, and then we'll do whatever else we can not with the broom. But the alleyway is looking so good. We just need to blow out the rest of this, might broom it again. Mike's getting rid of all this from here. Finally, I have not liked this being over here in the slightest, so I'm so glad it's going away. All the hay is picked up. I put it in this bag that was here from the shavings. It's empty, I just put the hay in there. So now we just need to blow everything out. We're putting the ducks that we have and then the chickens, well the chicks will all go over here. Probably gonna bring a mat that we just took out in here so that they can all be on the mat just so it's easy cleanup and doesn't continue to make the concrete. I don't know why I'm worried about the concrete being dirty. Look how dirty it is, but still. So that's where the mat will live. Now we'll move the ducks over there and then the rest of the chickens when we're done will go over there as well. put back together. We have pretty much all of our supplies over here. All of the chicks are over here. The only thing I really need to do is bring my mama duck back in and let her chicks follow, but I'm gonna do that after the horses are in and everything's more settled so she doesn't panic. And then we gotta let Petro come back in the barn. But we didn't make too much of a mess from this. Obviously this is a mess, but we'll get rid of that throughout the week. And then we just have one trash bag basically and then a couple buckets. So I think we did really good. I'm so happy with how this whole thing has turned out. 
Taking the mats out has really made the alleyway look a lot bigger, so that's really exciting. Now, it's also really exciting is I have not seen all five horses come in all at once in a very, very long time, so it's gonna be really exciting to me. All the horses are in and eating in their freshly clean bedded stalls, right, Lulu? There's a little bit of a cluster getting them all in. I haven't done that in a while with five horses, but they're in. They're happy, they're eating, all is well. <laughs> they're finally done. They found their way back in <laughs> to the barn. <laughs> this is Butters and her littles that are not little at all anymore. So that's where her nest will be. Hopefully she keeps it in there, but they seem very awkward, like what's going on in here, but that's fine. All right, you guys, that is a wrap in the barn. We were in here for a very long time. I think it was like, it's 11 now, and I think he started around like 6.30, 7 o'clock, so it's been a long time. I am very proud, I will say, because it's the longest I've been able to be out in the barn and doing stuff since the last like six months being pregnant, so mustered up a lot of energy and courage to come out here today and get this done for the horses, so I'm super, super happy. I'm really excited to see how it goes with the hemp bedding. I think it'll work out really well for us, but I'll keep you guys posted. The Trigger and June went back out for the night. They got their grain. And now they're eating their hay out there. The boys are in here. Here are you guys. Well, I'm super sweaty. I look terrible. It's time for me to take a shower and go to bed. If you guys like today's video, if you guys like how the barn ended up looking, make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. All right, you guys. Well, we love you, and I'll see you in the next one.